steroid synthesis discovery could rewrite the textbooks. This is by the Flanders Institute for Biotechnology. Steroids are essential molecules for life in all complex organisms such as animals and plants. Researchers from the VIB UGENT Center for Plant Systems Biology, University of Technology, Sydney Climate Change Cluster, and the University of Queensland have now discovered a new central enzyme in the steroid biosynthesis pathway in some modern organisms. This might not only lead to an evolutionary rethink, but also opens new ways to control toxic algae in aquaculture. Their findings have been published in Nature Microbiology. The increasing availability of genome editing tools such as CRISPR, Cas9 is giving scientists unprecedented access to many of the inner metabolic processes that have evolved over billions of years to shape the tree of life. A new study exploring steroid biosynthesis pathways in a group of microalgae called diatomes urges a rethink on key evolutionary aspects of eukaryotic life, the scientists say, eukaryotic life. Knowing the underlying natural metabolism of diatomes is necessary to design synthetic biology and metabolic engineering strategies for the growing biotechnological sector. In addition, the findings published in Nature Microbiology have potential practical applications for the aquaculture industry, providing insight into ways to inhibit toxic algae infections. The study is an international co co collaboration co-led by University of Technology Sydney Climate Change Cluster and VIB Ghent University scientists together with University of Queensland. Dr. Michael Fabris, co-author and CRISPR, CRISO Synthetic Biology Future Science Platform Fellow, says that the team's interest was sparked by earlier research suggesting a novel alternative enzyme for steroid biosynthesis might be hiding in some microalgae species. He says, sterols are essential components of all uh, eukaryotic cells. Without sterols, plants, animals, and fungi could not live. We all rely on the same ancient metabolic, metabolic machinery in our cells that emerged more than two billion years ago, or so we thought. Professor Alan Gossens, the lead specialist in plant metabol metabolism at VIB Ugent Center for Plant System Biology, says that according to the biochemistry textbooks, the enzyme responsible for the first and most important step in sterile biosynthesis, sequel X epoxidase, SQE for short, was believed to have been carried on by all modern organisms from their common ancestor. Lead author, researcher Dr. Jacob Pollier says that to the contrary, they found many organisms use an alternative complex different enzyme, an alternative SQE. Nature has come up with a different way of carrying out a function that is key to life. We don't know why yet, but it has a profound implication, profound implications on our understanding of the evolution of life as we know it, he says. A rethink on the accepted view about steroid biosynthesis may also open potential routes to control harmful toxic algae and parasitic infections that impact the aquaculture industry causing seafood poisoning in humans and economic damage, respectively. Although not the focus of this study, the discovery of this novel enzyme could find applications in this space. Dr. Fabris says, because the sterile pathway is a necessary function for these organisms, the enzyme carrying out a key step may offer a novel potential kill switch if properly targeted. The researchers also found one more surprise. The same Alt-SQE gene was discovered in a class of marine viruses associated with infections and large-scale die-offs in algae blooms, which could say a seed cloud formation. Dr. Pollier says, algae blooms are thought to influence cloud formation and thus ultimately the Earth's climate change. These marine viruses are known to hijack algae steroid metabolism, so Alt-SQE could play an important role in marine cloud formation and climate regulation, Dr. Pollier says. This was uh, provided by VIB, the Flanders Institute for Biotechnology, and journal reference Nature Microbiology is on fizz.org.
kindly support my Patreon account since that's the only way I can continue what you like seeing on this channel. Thank you. You'll find it in the description box below.